boys and girls. This video is a quick video on the metric system and how to convert weight in the metric system. As you can see on our board, I've got a gram and I've got a kilogram. As you can see my gram, it's very tiny. This is the standard unit of measure for weight when you're talking about metric weight. It's the standard gram. Beside it, I've got a much bigger weight. This is a weight, this is 1,000. I don't know if you can see that very well on the video, but that says 1,000 on the top right there. This is 1,000 grams, and it's much, much heavier. You can see how big that looks. It's very heavy. That's a kilogram. A kilogram is 1,000 times a gram. Now in fourth grade, we look at another unit of weight called the milligram. I do not have an example for a milligram, but if you remember from milliliter and also millimeter, milla, the prefix milla, M-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, means one one thousandth. So if you can imagine taking this little tiny gram piece right there and breaking it into one thousand parts, it would be very, very tiny that would give you a gray, a weight of a milligram. So let's talk about converting weight. On your conversion chart, metric weight is at the bottom. So when I open it up, we've got our length words, our volume and capacity, and here's our weight in mass. And customary is on this side with our US measures, a ton, a pound, and an ounce. We're not gonna look at that today. Today we're gonna be looking at the metric side, which is right here. So I'm gonna actually fold this up and go back to this side. Now this is very small for my video, so I recreated it. Ta-da! All right, let's look at this. So in the metric system, our kilogram is the largest unit of weight that we look at. It is 1,000 grams. So one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, and then one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. If I had 1,000 teeny, 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 tiny little pieces, all together they would equal one gram. So we don't have very many conversions, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and move my gram and my kilogram, very heavy. Let's move this over here out of the way and we'll start to convert. So just like with all of our other measures, we're gonna use our T-chart strategy. Let's do a few. Say Miss Moore has four kilograms and I want to know how many grams. My first step, I'm going to make a T-chart, label kilograms, label grams. Now before I start anything, I'm gonna look at my conversion chart. I'm gonna look at the relationship between grams and kilograms. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna find the sentence where I have grams and kilograms in the same sentence. Here it is right here. So one kilogram, I'm gonna to go to my T-chart and I'm gonna make sure I put a one under my kilogram column. One kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. Now I still don't know my rule yet, so I'm gonna look up here and fill in what I do know and then that will help me figure out which direction on my input output table we're going to be moving. So I've got four kilograms. I'm gonna put that four in my kilogram column Grams is my unknown, that's my unknown. So I'm trying to get to this right here. So on my input output table or my T-chart, I'm gonna be going this direction. Look at your first two measures. Their correlation is a thousand. Now we just have to figure out, are we gonna be multiplying or dividing? So let's look. My number went from a one to 1,000. Did that go up or did it go down? That's right, it went up. And when your number goes up, that means you're going to multiply that rule. So then you just take like an input output table, you take your input, you apply your rule, and you will get your output. Four times 1,000, that's right, 4,000. So I can say that four kilograms is equal to 4,000 grams, okay? Let's look at a couple more. So I'm gonna erase this. It's pretty simple. The metric system, 
once you get the hang of multiplying by those tens and hundreds and thousands, it's really a piece of cake. You just have to know your rule. Let's do another one. Let's say I had 20,000, that's a big number, milligrams, and I want to know how many grams. I'm gonna start by making a T-chart. I'm gonna look at my first, my two units of measure. I have my first one as a milligram. My second is a gram. Now, before I start putting numbers in, I've got to look at my chart. I've got to figure out what that rule is. What's the relationship between those two numbers? Milligram and gram, so I'm going to look. Here we go, right here, gram and milligram. So one gram, one gram, 1,000 milligrams. Okay, I don't know which way I'm going to be going yet, so let me fill in what I do know and then I'll figure out what I don't know. So I have a milligram and it's 20,000. So in my milligram column, I'm going to write 20,000. And grams is literally our question. Okay, so I'm going from left to right. So my rule is going to be something a thousand, my initial relationship between those two measurements is 1,000. Now, let's figure out if I'm gonna be multiplying or dividing. So when I come over here, I go from 1,000, I went down a one, to one. So my number went down, so that means I'm going to be dividing, divide down. So then you simply take your input, we're gonna be dividing by 1,000, Mm, these are big numbers, but here's a little trick you can kind of do. So I've got a lot of zeros here. We've looked at other videos, and hopefully you remember by now that we can cancel out zeros as long as I have a one-to-one -one correspondence, as long as I have zeros that match. I can get this down to a basic fact. So if I take away a zero there, I've got to take only one on this side. I can take this zero and cancel out that zero. I can take this zero and I can cancel out that zero. Now this number has one more zero, but I cannot cancel it out because I don't have any more on this side to do that with. So then I'm left with my basic fact. So 20 divided by one. What is 20 divided by one? That's right, just a 20. So I can come back up here and I can say that 20,000 milligrams is equal to 20 grams. Now, I'm not going to show you any more examples, but let's look at our conversion chart. If I was going from grams to milligrams, my number would be going up, so I would be multiplying. And just like up here, if I was going from grams down to kilograms, up to kilograms, my number would be going down, I would be dividing. So pay attention on your T chart, which direction you're gonna be going. Is your number going up or is your number going down? I hope this video helped you today, working with converting weight in the metric system. Thank you for watching.